Good morning, more Medic One. Hey, today we're doing a uh, an engine swap or a what they call a short block, but in actuality, I would call this a long block because it's got the crankcase, the piston, the cylinder head, all ready to go, all brand new. And as you can tell, we've removed the flywheel and the clutch and have transferred it to the new engine already. But what I wanna go over today is how to gap an ignition coil on not just a two stroke and not just a echo. This is pretty much industry wide. This is how you perform this procedure. Now the ultimate goal here is to set the gap between the ignition coil here and the flywheel here. And as you can tell, that gap is just monstrously wide right now. So what we're going to do is that this coil is elongated here where the screws mount the coil to the engine block. So what we'll do is that we'll put us a gauge in between the coil and the flywheel that is set to about, oh, 12 thousandths. A business card is about 13 or 14 thousandths and a business card is what we're gonna be using today. That's what I've used for years and years, and it works fine, never had a comeback. So let's go ahead and get that business card set in there. I've used this business card over a time or two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the ignition coil both legs and then we're going to let the coil drop onto the flywheel like this we can even push it down a little bit so the business card thickness when we remove the business card that's going to leave the gap that we need. So go ahead and tighten down your coil and let me give you a little trick here. If you tighten the right one first, it tends to want to kick up the trailing edge of the coil. So always tighten down your left mounting nut or bolt first. So that way the, the natural action of the clockwise rotation of the screw is actually pushing down on the coil. You see what I'm saying? Especially when you're in a hard to reach spot, it's, that will help you out tremendously. And you don't have to kill these screws, just get them taut. And then just slide out the business card and then we have our gap. Now, just for instance, what would happen if we didn't get this gap correct? And uh, just say if the gap was too, too, uh, too narrow and not enough gap, you could possibly have flywheel to coil interference. You could actually hit the coil. And I've actually seen that happen in the past. And whenever the flywheel is spinning 10,000 RPMs and it say the coil comes loose or somebody didn't tighten it down right or I don't know but I've actually seen the uh, the coil posts on the engine just snap off and uh, that's not good uh, so what would happen if the gap is too wide you could have some issues with spark uh, the magnetic flux uh, diminishes and you just don't get, you could have uh, no spark. Uh, if it's too wide, it'll, uh, you could have, you know, just a weak spark and it also could affect the timing of the spark. Alrighty guys, we got the coil gapped on the little SRM 280 Echo and uh, hey, 
if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.